Torah TV. The world is thinking. A question from the audience about whether uh, humanity is, is playing God by, by even contemplating these sorts of things. So who wants to tackle that? Whether we like it or not, we are already <clears throat> intervening in the Earth system at massive scales. We, we are already emitting sulfur into the lower atmosphere at a level that cools the Earth to an amount that's equivalent to about half of the carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere. And so if we stopped our current sulfur emissions to the atmosphere, the Earth would heat up quite rapidly. And so, and is the that geoengineering? Yeah, and so the and so this is inadvertent through sulfur coming out of power plants today. And so we're talking about putting a few percent of that sulfur in the stratosphere instead of the lower atmosphere. And and so I think the difference is that the sulfur that we're emitting and the carbon dioxide that we're emitting, we know that we're changing our Earth's climate. <laughs> but it's a byproduct of other things that we're seeking to do. And what's new about geoengineering is saying we're not just going to change climate inadvertently and knowingly, because we all know that we're changing climate when we drive home tonight and CO2 comes out of our tailpipe. But it's a very different thing if you're, if you're driving home with the intent that you're, I'm going to drive, so I'm going to heat up the climate. And so that's, what's new here is the intention to alter climate, but we're all doing things every day that we know affects climate. Let me emphasize what Ken said there. So he says that um, right now there's a certain amount of pollution in our cities in China and around the world, and the particulate matter uh, actually has a net cooling effect of about one degree uh, centigrade or so, something on that order. Closer to a degree Fahrenheit. But Fahrenheit, degree. okay. Um, and that we, if we start to improve and clean up our cities, we're going to uh, make the global warming that much worse if we were to do that. So, so environmentalism is bad. Uh, no, it's just that it has consequences. Ex it exacerbates because warming. Because of you know, the way we have evolved. Uh, we have the, the, the net effect of the pollution has been actually to help have a net, uh, cooling effect. And the other carbon buildups has a net uh, heat capture effect. And so in balance, you have this uh, equilibrium. And as you start to clean up the air, it's going to put even more pressure on the warming, that's due to the carbon. So you're going to have to work even harder to get the carbon out to mitigate this additional effect. Let me add a couple points on this. Um, I mean, I think that question highlights the fact that this ultimately becomes an ethical issue, right? Um, and that uh, I agree, no matter what we do, right, we are already uh, you know, engineering the earth, right? Yeah. We've intentionally or not. Now, I think the question of intent is critical. Right? I mean, intent. Uh, you know, uh, you know, in the criminal law, intent is uh, critical to deciding whether one not to be convicted of murder or some lesser offense. Um, intent is critical here, I think, in uh, figuring out well, what exactly um, do we want? Uh, do we want to be living in in a more natural world, right? Uh, or um, do we want to, uh, uh, I think this relates to sort of the unintended consequences that can result um, from the acts that we do. Um, and ultimately, uh, there's an issue here related to hubris. That is, um, do we have the hubris to do these sorts of things? Now we can do some research, but ultimately there are always going to be unintended consequences, particularly when uh, the research that we do uh, we've talked about the difficulty of scaling up the research to actually uh, accurately determine what the effects are going to be.